so welcome back to another video in this video we will cover two topics first is conversion operator and the second is conversion constructor so first we will see conversion operator well c++ supports object oriented programming and it is used to create real world object as concrete types so concrete types sometimes we want those concrete type as our primitive data types so we will use conversion operator for this and its definition will be like first we have the keyword operator then we will write primitive data type we want our variable to cost in then the return then in the function we will return the that variable we want to be cost then in its mechanism to call it in the main function will be uh, like this first we will create the uh, object of that class class name and object then we will write primitive data type which will receive the value returned by that function we have right over so it will have a variable and it will have the value of object so let me show an example for this uh, well there is a function first of all i have that word operator then i had that primitive data type character i had the value or passed on to this class member very um, data member is a floating point number so i want to cause that floating point number into a character so i have um, used the conversion here so this will return a character value to the uh, object well this whole function returns the value that has been costed to object basically this object will have the value character that has been returned and similarly we have to declare the same variable uh, to store a value uh, of the same primitive data type so you can use different um, words here like primitive data type so you have other like integer string and first of all we will run this and see how it works so the value that has been cost is a and the value that was passed on was 65 so it has converted the uh, floating point number which was passed on um, that was 65 and it uh, returned a correct value which is a so similarly if you want to convert it into integer we will simply write here our keyword integer and this will return and we have to pass on a floating point number so we can see a accurate value and then it will so you have to change you have to have same primitive data type variable in the main function as well to receive the value otherwise it will return values like this you have seen on the screen so here we go we have an integer value and the, the floating point number we have passed on so the third one like string well to convert to cost the variable into string we have to use a special keyword again and that is to string and it will have the integer value to be converted inside its parameter matter so we have to declare the same data type as, as well it is string so it will basically convert the number we have passed on into string so let's move on to our next topic which is conversion construction well it says if a parameterized constructor has a single argument then in its instance or object of that clause can be initialized by a variable having same type as data member has. So we will see its definition and calling as well. Well, definition will be like the class name. The same we have we write for um, you know you will be familiar with the writing of constructor. The class name it has an argument, and then we will initialize that data member of if we want whatever you want. That in the calling function, we will call it like these two. First, we can initialize the instance to that number as well, and uh, secondly, we can 
um, pass on as a argument as well. So we will see another function for this as well. So your program. So in the same program we had seen this that we had pass on a value as a parameter. So if we want to pass the value as an in if we want to initialize the variable, so we will see I have initialized it with 9.7. So it will print 9.7 in the second line as you can see. So this was constructor conversion and this was it.